Hi everyone, I'm Carol Parsons of carolparsons.com, producer, director, and a video content specialist. Today I'm going to be joined by celebrity expert guest, Tanya Meme. So now you have spent five years as a DIY expert on the Hallmark Channel's Home and Family. Yeah. And so how many demonstrations would you say that you have done over the years? Oh my goodness. Probably on that show alone, I've probably done over 300. Yeah. And well, Sell This House too, which I was on for 10 years, I probably have done, I mean, hundreds on that too. But being a DIY expert on a show, and which I was on Home and Family, that is what I did. With, home, with Sell This House, I hosted, I did a lot of hosting and I did some DIYs. Um, and then I became a DIY expert and I loved it. I loved, loved my job on Home and Family. I loved it. Refurbishing, loved it. upcycling, DIYing, and crafting of all kinds. Currently, I'm on a show called Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel. I go on two to three times a week and I'm a mom entrepreneur slash DIY lifestyle expert. I love my job but it's really stressful. I'm always on a time crunch. I'm always under a deadline. I have to pitch my own ideas, create my own ideas, and then execute them flawlessly on national television. Like you're the demonstration queen. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks. Yeah, you I'm are. good at explaining things, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But, it, but it's, it takes a little bit more than that. Not just, it's not just about explaining. There is a technique. Would you say that there's a technique involved? You mean in um, demonstrating a DIY? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Um, it has to. So here's the thing. You have to, first of all, if you're going to go online and you're going to show somebody how to create something, you first of all have to have what you created, created. So you can't just show a photo and this and that. You have to show, like if I'm going to show you how to make this coffee cup, <laughs> um, I'm going to have what we call on Home and Family, the hero piece. So you have your hero and you don't just want one, you want three or four so that it can look really pretty. Then you have to step it out, right? Because for demonstration sake, if you ever get it, when you go online, nobody wants the whole video. They're like, I want, I want to know how to do this. I want the ingredients. I want to know how to do it. I want to do this, that, that. I want to see what it looks like. That's it. I don't care about your story or this or that. <laughs> I mean, maybe until once they get to really know you, but it's at first really, you can gain a lot of followers by just getting to the point. So that is already having it stepped out. So you'll have step one and step two and step three, and don't get caught up either in certain things and admit your mistakes. On Home and Family, I was, I always admitted when I made a mistake. I actually showed video and pictures of some of the catastrophes I had. Oh shit, what's happening? <laughs> oh, damn it. So I solved one problem and then can't figure out the other. And it helps people problem solve or, you know, be able to get through the craft better and understand that, okay, this is a little hard. You gotta make sure you have the right glue. And I didn't, cause this is what happened, you know, and they might have the wrong glue sitting right there on their table. So yes, it is a process, but it's being very concise, very clear, and then always have written out with photos instructions on a website or some additional information that you can give them, not just the video. Because videos can be sometimes, you don't have all the information in the video. So stuff that may not be included, they would find on a website or, you know, the, the more detailed instructions. It's I like when you're doing, a, you're cooking something, you always go back like, how many cups of this and how many tablespoons of that and what do I do? And so you always have to go back. And so it's good to, and when you're on video, that is the last thing you want to do is keep rewinding it and this and that and your bad reception or bad internet. It's all messed up. <laughs> when you're, when you're doing it from home, as opposed to doing it in the studio, do you find it harder? The key to doing it at home, which I find is you do have to have some kind of a studio set up, nothing extravagant, but you know, you either have a beautiful, gorgeous, white, stunning kitchen, which I don't, or you don't. And so it's good to have a room where you have like the crafting room where it looks, you, you, you kind of want to look professional, which means I would say if I was to do it right, I would want it to look a certain way. Now on some of these DIY and craft videos, they have the camera angle from the top and you don't even see the person. And that is nothing. It's just a table with nothing, just hands and they're crafting. And how brilliant is that? because there's no, uh, you don't have to invest in any kind of studio, but the lighting has to be amazing. 
The editing has to be amazing. And that's not always something that a DIYer has full skills on everything. It takes time to learn. Some people do, but it's really difficult unless you, and they also have like two, three, four camera setups too, getting all the different angles. So it's so much more than you think, but there are ways of doing it at home. And some people have really done it well. You know, funny enough, I, I have a lot of my clients that come and they're just that, you know, they have this great idea. They're trying to get this DIY off the ground. They've shot video and it looks pretty good, but it's very disjointed, right? They, they have to, you know, they've, they've narrated kind of, and you know, they, they want to put it together like it is cohesive. And yeah. so that's not as easy as it, it, as it always looks, because you guys make it look easy. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Television does that. I'm a DIY expert on a national talk show, and they asked me to come on one to three times a week, and every day I come on, I have to present them with this awesome, fabulous DIY project. And here's the thing. I have to have my project ready the night before. I have to, I have to know all the mistakes. I have to know all the, the ups and downs of making this project so that when I go on the show, I'm an expert. It's true. Um, yeah. I mean, I like to show my mistakes. And uh, if you checked out my YouTube channel, I have this this show at home with Tanya Mammy that I tried to uh, that I wanted to launch. Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this on national television. But then I got divorced, so what, the whole concept went down the tube. You know, life changes, right? Um, but on that one gave you a real behind the scenes look on how difficult, now that was probably one of the more difficult DIYs that I didn't think was difficult. So for my next DIY project, I decided to make candle eggs made out of real eggshells. Basically the first thing you have to do is blow out the egg. You literally put a hole in the one top of the egg, a hole in the bottom of the egg, and crush the yolk, and then you blow it out. Hold on a second. I needed to do in privacy, okay? Screw the straw. Wow. Uh, but it shows you right there the disasters and the catastrophes that happen. And then, of course, I go on camera and everything looks flawless. But it's not only that. By the time I go on camera and do it, I know how to do it. I've done it 25 times. So that's the other thing. People are like, oh, you... You always make it look so easy. Well, no, by the time I actually do get on camera, I've done it a million times. And, and so if you want to do it a million times, trust me, eventually you're going to get it right. But you know what? I, I love it even more because you're, you're so honest. And, and quite honestly, it's, it, it, it isn't that easy. It isn't as easy as it looks when you're doing it. But let me tell you, it always looks beautiful when you're doing it. You know, I think I'll say one last thing. Yeah, about it looking easy. Um, I think some of it has to do with your personality too, because if you screw up all the time doing DIYs, which I do a lot, I can't even sew. Like I don't even know how to sew and I cannot draw at all. But I have become this DIY expert because I'm really good at certain things, horrible at other things. But if you make it entertaining and fun, and so what, you show your mistakes, but then by the end, it actually looks kind of cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody has to t try and fill Martha Stewart's shoes. That's not what we're trying to do anymore. And people want authenticity. They want your personality. They want you to mess up. They want you to, they don't want you to mess up. But if you do, they want to see it. They want to see how did you correct it? A part of being a really good DIY expert is learning how to correct the things that went wrong. Yeah. And did you swear while you're doing it? <laughs> All the time. I just don't show that part on TV. <laughs> You'll have a Netflix special one day. <laughs> oh, totally. That would be interesting. Stay tuned this month to catch Tanya on Sell This House on a and &E and FYI Network. And you're going to want to make sure you check out Dabble Network for the past 10 seasons of Sell This House, as well as Tanya's YouTube show, Life Masters, a video podcast on iTunes and YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'm Carol Parsons of carolparsons.com, and I'm here to make your filming fabulous, your video victorious, and your blog brilliant. If you have a fantastic idea for a new video blog, and you need some help getting started, or if you're just feeling stuck, need new content, visit me at carolparsons.com and book a call. I'd be happy to help.